Aw, so cute. A baby's first dandelion. You know, blowing the fluff away used to be all they were good for. But now, scientists are transforming them into materials for the future. First on our list of sustainability swaps, dandelion rubber. The milky fluid in this pretty posy is being used to replace the traditional way of collecting natural rubber, which is done by tapping the Hevea tree. Researchers at the Fraunhofer Institute in Germany, in conjunction with tire manufacturer Continental, are leading the charge. So far, our tire testing has revealed that the tires made from dandelion rubber have the same properties as those made from Hevea natural rubber. And it's a good thing because the tire industry consumes roughly two-thirds of the world's natural rubber. The variety you see here is from dandelions and is much more eco-friendly. For instance, it helps preserve forests in Southeast Asia where natural rubber typically comes from. Next on our list, most of us replaced cash with plastic. Well now, cash is becoming plastic. This one comes from Ford Motors Material Sustainability Lab in Michigan. The Federal Reserve shreds thousands of pounds of old money each week. Since money is made from linen and cotton, Ford uses it as a base for making their plastics. Wait a minute, this is made out of money? Yes, about $400 worth of U.S. currency that's pulled out of circulation and would have otherwise been burned or landfilled. And our last sustainability swap, car interiors from tomatoes. Ford Sustainability Lab is doing it again, this time with the help from the Heinz Company. A byproduct of the two million tons of tomatoes they use every year is billions of pounds of stems, seeds, and skins. Instead of going to waste, Ford dries it up and plans to make it into plastics for various parts, including storage bins for their vehicles. Sustaining the world of tomorrow, today on The Futurist.